You know what they say, the second time's a charm. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be that way for Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner is making a comeback in the swimwear industry. This time, she's using her brand Kai to promote her swimwear. Kylie Jenner has established herself as a serial entrepreneur by now, known for launching several self-named businesses with degrees of success in some of her businesses, but others not so much. One venture that didn't turn out to be as successful was her 2021 swimmer line aptly named Kylie Swim. Some of you may know that with Kylie being well known for her bikini selfies at the time and her Instagram baddie aesthetic, many of her fans were actually eager to take direct inspiration from her poolside style. However, once customers received the product, boy did the tables turn. Public opinion shifted rapidly, many took to TikTok to voice their complaints about the quality of the materials and manufacturing, claiming that their suits were see-through, the seams were unraveling, and most notably, the piece meant to cover the customer's private areas was hardly doing its job. At the time, Kylie only addressed the transparency issue of the suits as opposed to the quality and all the other issues people were dealing with, stating in a since-deleted TikTok post, I am completely and totally disappointed that this is completely see-through. I've seen behind the scenes what it takes to produce swimwear, and the fact that no one caught this blows my mind. Despite how many people felt about how genuine her response was, about a year after its launch, the Kylie Swim Instagram account completely stopped posting and eventually wiped its page entirely. Shortly thereafter, a user on the Keeping Up with the Kardashian subreddit posted documents allegedly showing that the Kylie Swim trademark had been abandoned. So it seemed like she realized it was time to throw that business away because it wasn't making her money. Now, Kylie's brand, Kylie Swim, has not launched a new collection since then. And again, its Instagram page, despite nearly having 1 million followers, has been completely empty of posts throughout all this time. Until you guys, a couple of days ago. Where it seems like this time around, Kylie is deciding to bring back her swimmer line, but she's merging it into her new clothing line she recently launched called Kai. She posted this video announcing her drop and people have a lot to say about it. First off, one of the major topics of conversation is about her bikini tops. Her bikini tops alone range from $35 to $40 alone, which is crazy expensive for something that looks so freaking basic like this. I mean, for this one right here, people are saying you can literally get a similar looking bandeau at Forever 21 for just like $7. So a 5 to 6 X markup on something like this, which is what Kylie is doing, is just insane to a lot of people. And you see, it makes sense if there were something intriguing about the design or even the quality of the material. But according to people on TikTok who went out of their way to order the product so that they could physically review it, boy, were they disappointed. Looks like Kylie Slim Scraps will be making a reappearance in the new Kai drop. You can't convince me that they didn't just sue leftovers of Kylie's skin and call it a drop. I guess the latex kitten, Kanye rebranding, Johansson stealing, a cottage core copycat has finally run out of ideas. Back to square one. One user instantly called out Kylie on TikTok when she received her piece because here's what she ended up getting. Another thing people have been pointing out is that through Kylie's photos promoting her swimsuits, the tops just look extremely tight and uncomfortable and almost looks like the boots are in pain because of how tight they look. Over 34 million of y'all saw me teach Kylie Jenner how to successfully start a swim collection. One pieces are what my brand is known for, so let's start with that first. This is here to show you how see-through the fabric was the first time around. Girl. Did she not listen last time? Who's this gonna fit? Well, I think she needs to go back to my lessons because judging by the gusset, who is gonna fit in there? We have a slip, we have a slip. So I think the point of this is for these to be out, for this to be out, and to give you a baggy baggy. Oh, I think they used her as the model, her waist size, because whose waist is gonna fit in this? I can't do it. I got a 24 inch waist. Oh. Okay, there's no way. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> oh. Ah! I don't know if this is gonna go up. Dude, I am like manhandling you. Whoa, I'm breaking a sweat. You had people commenting things like, the b look like they're going to burst. Painful looking too 
boobs and amusement park turkey legs on the bottom. SMH, I realized her implants look crazy because they're so high on her chest. Like nobody's natural breast has a line that travels so far up to the rib cage. It shouldn't be resistant to gravity, even naturally perky ones. That's why it looks so odd. Then she's too skinny from Ozempic for the implants to blend in with her skin better. This user pointed out they have to degrade the video quality so much to make her look normal. Not gonna lie, kudos to her team on finding innovative ways to hide the botch. They deserve a raise. They won't get it. How can she continuously post images and videos that are exclusively for the male gaze and are only focusing on her looks? You can't even see the swimmer in detail. You just get her big face on the way and then cry about being judged for her looks. Could she not use other models? Even Skims uses other models, not just Kim. She just wants all the praise and all money and none of the negative things associated with being online like this. One TikToker also gave some great points making a video on why she believes Kylie's new comeback with this swimwear line won't last long again. Kylie Jenner just announced that she's getting back into swimwear. Let's talk about why this is going to fail for the second time. For a brand to work, it has to match your aesthetic. Apart from the flotation devices she's working with I don't understand 2021 she launched Kylie swim major flop bad quality what is Kylie Jenner known for no disrespect it's being fake she laughed her way all the way to the bank with her lip kits your lips look fake without the lip injection genius we can even look at her sister Gims Kim is known for that BBL figure Gims shape you without the surgery who to brand I took a look at the Kai swimwear it makes absolutely no sense it looks like she and nothing different about it and there's no why. If she really wants to be in swimwear, which it seems like she does, she needs to figure out how to infuse her fake aesthetic into the swimwear. Maybe it's different levels of removable bust pads, hidden waist trainers in the waist of the one pieces. Maybe it's a way to make fake boobs look less fake in the swim tops by covering that, you know, side section. I don't know, but you have to do something different and you have to do something that makes sense for you. Something interesting I also want to point out, you guys, is that during the time the drop was announced, I was actually scrolling through Kai's comments and when I tell you I saw a slew of comments critiquing her for this drop, only to find out a couple of days later after checking on that same post that many of those comments were nowhere to be found. So you can just tell her team has to be working off the clock to ensure her page is filled with mostly positive comments. But this surely didn't stop people from talking about it over on Reddit. It. I see Kylie is taking the Kim Kardashian route with Kai. No amount of Kylie posting about how the material is great can convince me that this drop doesn't look cheap and some of the bikini tops don't even look like they have padding. This contract she's in, it seems like hell. No, because like she knew how much hate she got because of Kylie's swim, you would think she'd actually try this time around. Is this a swimsuit top? What am I looking at? I'm shocked people buy these cheap, not cute, fall apart rags. I did not expect Kylie's swim to be that detrimental to her reputation. Usually things like that get covered by Chris and her PR, but since then, no one trusts Kylie's products. I thought this was a mesh corset. I'm sorry, I just don't get this crappy aesthetic. When Kylie announced her new drop, she also did an interview with Elle magazine where she talked swimwear, her pricing, and the future of her brand. And regarding the pricing on whether the brand will maintain its affordable prices, she says, my whole vision for Kai from the beginning was to bring high quality fashion to my audience at an attainable price. That's really the core of the brand. I love that with our price points, we can bring a luxury fashion aesthetic to a bigger audience and introduce them to iconic brands and designers through our collaborations. I've had so many people tell me how many compliments they get when they wear their Kai pieces or that people are asking them where they got their looks. And that's what I want for the brand. Anyways, guys, definitely let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. I'd love to know. I love you guys so much. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.